Will this make this smarter? Let's find out. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> What's up Xiaomi fans? This is Christian and welcome back to All About Me where I talk about Xiaomi products. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. I'll be uploading videos every week. And spoiler alert, I have a few tips about this product that I'm actually adding it in this video. So keep on watching until the end. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Now it's time to connect it via the Mi Home app. So open the Mi Home app. You can click on the plus sign at the top right. I would suggest that you just automatically do the search. So first you have to press and hold the button for five seconds before it comes out on your search. Because if you go to the add manually, it will, you might select the wrong device. Okay, so after your search, you'll see the device, you press on it, ask for your Wi-Fi network name and password and it will connect so once it's connecting or about like once it has the Wi-Fi handshake you'll the the light indicator will turn into a, a blue light solid blue light initially it was a blinking orange amber light so you can uh, set the de device location the name of the device and uh, once you press OK so you are all set All right, so for the plug, it's actually a China three pin plug. At the back, we have two pin and the three pin for the China as, as this adapter. So for here in the UK, I have to get, okay, so an adapter for me to plug it to the power outlet. And of course, I can't use this because in the UK we have a three pin plug so I have to use another adapter okay seems that this adapter is very difficult to plug okay so before I can plug this fan so it will look like that so there's this one big drawback for me when I I was setting this up okay so but before you plug before you use any of your appliances at home make sure safety first make sure that your your this the maximum capacity for this is 2500 watts so make sure you check your appliances before you use this uh, me smart plug okay so let's go ahead and try it with the fan So we're going to explore the features via the Mi Home app and as you can see we have our very beautiful fan in front of you. So first is we go to the Mi Home app and we open the power outlet. Okay, so you can see it's all dimmed, it's all black, so which means it is 
off. Okay, so at the top, you can see there that it's telling us that the internet connection is poor. So once you press on it, it will tell you the uh, the network details. So we're just gonna skip that for now. All right. So at the icons below, you can see on and off. You can set time and a timer. Okay. So let's try or check the timer. Okay. So for the timer, you can. This is for you to switch it off. It powers off after one minute, three minutes, five minutes, or you can customize it. So this is very useful, especially if you uh, maybe you're about to sleep. That is if you're gonna use a fan, but if you use other appliances in your house, you can just customize the timer. Next would be set time. So you'll have options here to schedule a period. So every uh, moment start from, uh, you can start it from, uh, let's say every five in the afternoon or every eight in the morning it will switch off and all that and you can set the time for start time and end time and of course the first icon which is on off switch which you can just like turn it on Ooh. okay so the light now it's blue i think it's gonna mess up our mic because of the fan all right so next if you switch it off you can just do it remotely so that is very awesome because it's just a very cheap fan with this me smart plug it made it smarter so let's go to the settings so the settings you can you have the indicator light which is the blue blinking light on that that plug itself and we have the automation we'll be talking about that later so uh, you share device, you can share it to another me account and uh, general settings. So this is just a few settings that you can you can actually check and that you, you don't you can't do much on this in this page. So just change your device name, manage the location, maybe you want to put it in your living room, bedroom, kitchen. And uh, so let's go to automation. So with automation I have the meat temperature and humidity sensor which is connected uh, to the same Mi Home app. Uh, if, if you can browse through I'll be putting a link on the description about this video I had. I had featured this product a few weeks back and um, also uh, it should be connected to the bedside lamp. Bedside lamp will make it Wi-Fi, I mean connected to the internet because the meat temperature and humidity sensor is just for uh, It only has Bluetooth Okay, so with the Mi bedside lamp it makes that Bluetooth device Wi-Fi, okay, so going back to the automation so automation you can also click at the bottom there are icons There's so an icon there in your Mi Home app So um, at the bottom you will see the automation that I have set so I have set the automation. If the temperature is lower, sorry, if the temperature is higher than 25 degrees uh, Celsius, the fan will automatically switch on. If the fan, I mean, if the temperature is lower than 22 degrees Celsius, the fan will automatically switch off. But based on what I see, based on how I tested it, it only follows, the automation will only run for auto switch off. It doesn't auto switch on for some reason I don't know why so I'll be testing this further I'll be just uh, putting it in a description if I, f I find what's the reason behind it so yeah those are the automations you can do for this but unfortunately for this me smart plug it is not uh, compatible with a Google home a Google assistant so you can't use the voice assistant to command it to I switch on switch off but for Siri, I still have to test if this is available for a Siri setup because currently I'm using it on my Poco phone, Android phone. So um, I'll have to try that later on. And thank you so much for watching. We've reached the end of the video. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, comment, do whatever you like. And I'll see you on the next one.